channel. I am currently on my way to school right now, so I thought that I would go ahead and start vlogging today. Um, it's currently 8 o'clock. I have school at 8.30, and school is an hour away from my house, so I had to leave my house around 7.15 this morning. But I thought that I would go ahead and vlog today and just kind of take you throughout what my day is like on a school day. Especially today, right now Mondays are super busy because three of our nephews have ball games. So two of them have a soccer game and then um, another one of our nephews has a football game tonight. And that's pretty much every Monday for right now. So they're a little hectic. So like I said, I'm on my way to school right now. I actually have a test this morning in med search. Um, and I'm not prepared for that. I did not study as much as I should have. So I'm really nervous about that. But then I get out of school at two today and I'm going to the gym. And I haven't been to the gym since May, which I know is a long time. Um, I was going all the time, well, about three days a week. Um, and then me and my husband went on a cruise for our one year anniversary. And then I never went back to the gym. And I started working full time after that. So I used that as an excuse because after working all day, I did not want to go to the gym. So I told myself that when I started school back, I was going to go. And I have not gone. And I keep making up excuses why I can't go. But I don't have any excuses. Um, I think the hardest thing for me is school is so crazy that whenever I get a free minute, I just want to sit on the couch and relax and watch Netflix. Um, but I know that's not good for me. So I'm going to try to go to the gym at least three days a week again. Um, to get back into shape because when I was working out every day I felt so good about myself and I just felt better like I just felt and I can definitely tell the difference in me working out and me not working out and eating better I was eating so good before and then after the cruise it just I dropped off and I was eating whatever I wanted whenever I wanted and I can definitely tell that I've gained a few pounds. So I'm ready to get back in the gym and ready to get back into shape. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and head into school. I'm about to pull in, take my test. Hopefully I'll pass. That's all I care about. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys when I get out. I'm just now getting out of class and it is about two o'clock. So typically I have class from 8.30 until two o'clock and then I have my med surge and my maternity classes. So today for our med surge we had a test over oncology um, and I made a 93 on that so I'm really excited. And then we started our cardiovascular unit which is our next unit that we're going to do. Um, and I'm not going to lie I'm not excited about it um, because to me cardiology is really difficult. Um, and I know it sounds really bad, but I don't get excited over any of these units. For my maternity, I get really excited about because that's what I want to do. Um, I want to, so a little bit about me is that I want to go into labor and delivery or OB or pediatrics. Those are my three top choices right now. I love anything to do with babies, anything to do with pregnancy, anything like that. That's what I feel like my passion is in. Or something with children. Um, I will say that we did our psych clinicals last semester. And we had to go to a psych facility and um, observe. And I actually really enjoyed it. So I've always said if that doesn't work, like if pediatrics, maternity, or OB doesn't work, then I would kind of be interested in going into psych, but hopefully I'll be able to get my top three. So I'm really not excited about anything other than maternity, um, but in maternity right now we are learning about the newborn stage. We already went over um, prenatal care and conception and all of that, so now we're at the postpartum and newborn area and it's really exciting. Wednesday we are actually doing a live simulation birth and then I believe the second week of October I am starting my maternity clinicals and that will be at a hospital where I'm actually going to be 
45 minutes on the stair climber because that's all the time that I had but it kicked my butt. I can definitely tell that I've not been to the gym in months. I am starving for lunch today. I only brought a salad and a protein shake, but I think I'm burnt out on salads because I didn't even eat half of it. And then I went to the vending machine and got a bag of chips, which I know is terrible. And I don't know why I didn't drink my protein shake, but now it's hot, so I can't even drink it. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store, pick up our groceries, go home, and then I'm probably going to have an early dinner tonight um, because me and Jamie had to leave around five to go. By the way, my husband's name is Jamie. I don't even know if I've ever even said that, but have to leave our house around 5.30 to get to the games tonight. And honestly, I don't feel like cooking. <laughs> so we're probably going to just eat sandwiches and that's it. I'm such a good wife. If you watch this video thinking that I'm going to eat healthy all the time and cook dinner every day, I'm not. For the most part though, I cook dinner every single night unless it's like tonight's where we have a million games to go to. Um, I normally cook every single night. So, one day's not bad. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up groceries and go ahead and head on home. putting away groceries and giving the dog some water and I have a package that came in today it is my new Ugg boots so I literally wear Uggs every single day in the winter time without fail especially to school because it's so much more comfortable and I literally show up looking like I'm homeless every single day so uh, I had some Ugg boots and then they were just old and ruined and it was time to get some new ones anyways. So I went ahead and did it and I went ahead and got them now before it got cold and I actually needed them. So let's open them up. If you can hear my dogs in the background, I say, I'm gonna have to say this every video. They're extremely loud, so I apologize. Very small boots. I am in size five, so I literally have like children's shoes. I actually looked into getting the children's Uggs, but they were the same price as the adult Uggs, so I just went ahead and got Classic short two, um, and I got the two because I read that they're waterproof. And we're going to New York in December, so having waterproof shoes in case of it snowing or raining is going to be a necessity. Um, but I'm so excited for these! I'm officially ready for fall. Here in Georgia, you never know when it's going to be fall. It could literally be cold tomorrow. It's 90 degrees today. Or it could literally stay hot until Christmas. So you never know, but hopefully it will get cold soon because I am ready. All right, so it's a little while later now. I'm on the way to my nephew's game. Both of them are playing soccer. Um, Jamie didn't come with me. He is working tonight and he didn't feel like getting up. He wanted to keep sleeping. So I brought Jax, which I don't know if you can see. And as soon as this game is over, we have to rush over to the other ball field across town to watch my other nephew play football, which Jamie might come to that if he ends up waking up. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film of the game. Um, 
I might try to film a few clips, but we'll just see about that. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and head on over to yeah. the game. Okay guys, so I just got home from the football field from watching my nephew's football game um, and his team won, which is really exciting. I look extremely rough. I am extremely exhausted. Today was crazy long, but it was really fun. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the shower and then lay in bed and watch some Gilmore Girls. I'm currently binge watching the entire series. I'm almost finished, but I'm not ready to be done. So I'm only watching like one episode a night to make it last longer. Um, yeah, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I just wanted to hop on here and say thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.